All right. Well, uh, one last question on on him uh, before I do want to get pick your brain about all the free agent movement in the quarterback world in the NFL. Um, is is uh, the floor is yours? And when you met to him, when you realized that um, he was a unicorn, as a phrase that he. Yeah. Regarding. Well, my favorite story about him is it was one of those, you know, uh, Nike opening regionals in May in Oakland, California. And I had heard a lot about him. I'd watched all his tape. And you could see the talent, but he was a very undisciplined player at the time. And we do, we, you know, these regionals are not just like underwear Olympics throwing caps. And we put him through some pretty strenuous stuff to kind of see what their capacity is, see what their work ethic's like, and see if they're coachable. And at the end of the camp, and this made the, the documentary, I actually called him out. And I said, Tua, you're really talented, but everybody's enamored with your, your talent. All I see is the lack of discipline. And I said, in a month from now, when you come back to the finals, because he got an invite to the finals, based on his talent, really. I mean, he's incredibly talented. I said, you will not thrive unless you fix this stuff. Well, at the time, him and his dad, his family was pretty offended, right? You can imagine being a 17-year-old kid being told you're not as great as everybody's saying that you are. Mm -hmm. uh, but instead of complaining about it, they did something about it. And there's video, and, and this video lives somewhere, um, of him in a park in Hawaii with his dad every afternoon going over like these five to seven base old school Bill Walsh, Mike Holmgren, Mike McCarthy quarterback school drills that I had adopted over time because I had been in the West Coast. And I just think they're really good fundamental training drills. He's in this park in Hawaii with orange cones set out with his dad doing these for a month straight. So he comes to us in LA for the finals where Redondo, uh, Redondo Union and the first drill he, he, does, he does better than I've ever seen anybody do. And then as the day goes on, I'm, I'm talking to some of my coaches, Jordan Palmer, Quincy Avery, and these guys, I'm like, that's a totally different kid. And everybody was like, yeah, he's totally different. I mean, he went from being undisciplined to perfectly disciplined. And he knew more than anybody else in the whole camp. There was no doubt day one, he was the, the best player there. And he proved it as we went on the rest of the summer and the, the finals, uh, the opening finals and everything. But the point of the story is that when Tua sees something that he's not doing best, he attacks it so he can go do it best. And yeah, he may have this great smile, and yeah, he may be friends to everybody, but deep down, he's an assassin, and he does not, he wakes up every morning, and he says, how do I become the best at the next thing? And this was at 17, and you saw him do it his whole time at Alabama, and now you're seeing him do it here, getting ready for the NFL. 